If your kids have any practices or games tonight, you're probably paying close attention to this. That's right, our radar right here, and some school districts have already made changes to their evening sports activities because of what we're seeing pop up weather-wise. Stephanie Kayser is live with what local districts are doing to keep kids safe. Steph. Well, we're outside of Belton High School this morning, and really what's unique about this campus is over in the southwest corner of this building, they have a FEMA shelter. And so students, people from the community, if there's severe weather, can seek shelter there. And students do have some drills so they know exactly where to go um, if severe weather pops up. And on both sides of the state line, school districts are monitoring the weather today. We checked in with several districts. Blue Valley says student safety is their number one concern. Concern, and they look at the possibility of wet fields, stormy conditions, and lightning when deciding whether or not to cancel activities. Then up north in Bonner Springs, they actually have a lightning detector on their field, which is pretty cool. And then they have a plan in place for shelter. Students and people attending games would seek cover in the school. Both the middle and the high school are connected, so it's an easy way to get there from the football field, the softball field, the track. And they keep buses on site for traveling teams so they can either seek shelter at their school or then quickly get home if they do see that severe weather is starting to pop up and move into the area. But with athletic directors and school officials monitoring the weather, most calls to cancel or postpone games will happen early. And the best way of contacting students or parents is through email, through a phone call, or they use an app from the school on their phone. So parents just make sure to be on your phone today. Make sure you're checking that. Um, and then schools will update you on their plans to either postpone or cancel either today. Of course, we're having severe weather tonight and going into tomorrow. So a good thing to keep an eye on tomorrow as well. We're live outside of Belton High School. Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News.